Actually, the high-tech industry has not been known for gender diversity and creating opportunities for women. Will history repeat itself with the artificial intelligence boom? Well, we spoke with Tina Jones, Senior Vice President, Global Human Resources, Cadence. She shared uh, her insights on this important topic and discussed the commitment to the advancement of women in the AI industry. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Tell us, why does the Cadence Foundation believe that infusing gender diversity into the AI workplace, why is it so important? Well, thank you for the for the question. Um, and I'm actually here at Zooks today. Uh, I work at Cadence, uh, which is a technology company that creates uh, technology that's used in all semiconductor chips and even in cars. And I met Zooks, which is a robo taxi company led by a woman CEO. And I think Zooks is a great example of how technology, especially AI, is going to transform how we get from point A to point B and probably everything in between. And at Cadence, we believe that AI is going to be bigger than the Internet. Uh, and it will add $15 trillion to the global economy between now and 2030 and probably 100 million jobs. Wow. Uh, what people don't realize, yeah, is that um, while women are obviously 50% of the population, the AI workforce is only 20% women and a mere 10% of its leadership. So at Cadence, we think changing that is not just a nice to have, but is actually imperative if we're going to have enough talent to capitalize on what AI promises to deliver. Yes, and what has been the biggest barrier preventing more women from joining the AI workforce, and how is Cadence's uh, initiative helping to overcome it? Now, our research shows that women fall out of the talent pipeline at three critical junctures. Uh, if a girl gets over the dream gap and goes to university and pursues a STEM degree, the chances are that she will not finish that degree. If she does, she'll struggle to land that first lucrative high tech job. And if she gets into high tech, 50% of those women drop out in 12 years, whereas only 20% of women drop out of other careers. So the Cadence Foundation has pledged $20 million to work with universities and nonprofits to plug those three critical leakage points in the talent pipeline. So now what is Cadence doing to launch the FEM AI initiative? You know, we are super excited because uh, we have had a summit uh, where we're, we've brought together luminaries from Stanford and uh, UC Berkeley and MIT, along with AI leaders from NVIDIA and Google and Microsoft to shine a light on these issues and to really talk about how we can actually increase the representation of women in engineering and why it's so critical that we have diversity of thought in the creation of AI so that AI is human centered and responsible and really works for everybody. That's great. And where can you go for more information? Well, thank you for asking. We do have a website, fem.ai, and I encourage people to check it out. Join us in celebrating Women in AI Month, and, and please join our movement. All right. Breaking tech barriers in the women in the AI. Talking with Tina Jones. She is Senior Vice President, Global Human Resources with the Cadence Group. Tina, thanks so much. We appreciate the time. Thank you for having me.